The Folsom Unified School District Board voting in favor of reopening schools for in-person learning. And what this means is that we're going to be transitioning and opening up. That's the key word, transitioning. School Board Vice President Ed Short says the new format enables parents to decide what's best for their family. It allows the parents and the students the option to either stay distance learning or go to the transitional model. Short says the hybrid model includes remote classes and two days of in-person learning at school. Special education and at-risk kids will have the option to return beginning October 19th, November 9th for elementary students, November 30th for middle school students, and high school students beginning January 4th. I have a high schooler, a middle schooler, and uh, it's someone, you know, a child in elementary, and it's just been a struggle for us personally. I know my kids are like really missing that social interaction. But not all parents are comfortable sending their kids back right away. My concern is that we are moving into cold and flu season, which hasn't started. Dr. Fauci said to hunker down and to not underestimate the pandemic. We know that this virus spreads in low ventilation indoor areas with a high concentration of people. The board voted four to one in favor of the move. Short says the decision was based on science, but some things still need to be worked out, like making sure the HVAC and ventilation systems meet the necessary requirements and there's enough PPE for teachers, staff and students. Sooner or later, we're going to have to learn how to live with this uh, virus because we can't maintain and keep kids at home and isolated forever. It's just we all know it's not good for our kids. Walter McCullough, KCRA 3 News.